Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So it's time for uh, our monthly empties video and as you can see we have quite a lot this time. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to it. So I'm going to start with some bath and body products. Uh, these two are bath salts uh, by Soak Sunday and I have Rose Utopia and uh, Midnight Storm. Uh, I really enjoyed these two, they were actually really nice, uh, they lasted me for quite a while, I think you can, uh, it would just last you for like four, five baths each of them, so that was quite cool, um, I was quite, I did enjoy that. Uh, next up we have some stuff from uh, Bath and Body Works, I have a hand wash, this is a uh, passion fruit and banana flower, and uh, then we have a uh, pink pineapple sun sunrise um this is ultimate hydration body cream they're both tropical but uh the banana and passion banana flower and passion fruit is i'll probably say hmm, less in your face more like classic tropical if that makes sense uh whereas this one uh, smells like um, a tropical cocktail like a very sugary like almost something like you would like to eat almost the notes here are sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sun drenched nectar so that sounds sweet already and i'm not sure what the notes are in this one because it doesn't say but yeah i did enjoy both of these next up i've got the tan Luke's the gradual this is illuminating gradual tan lotion and i actually really like that one i'm not sure if this is this could be discontinued now i'm, I'm not sure i really like this product uh, i was trying to repurchase it recently i couldn't find it so who knows um if this is discontinued then obviously i'll just have to find something else that i like but this gave you this very kind of natural kind of tan at least on my skin tone this was very natural so kind of uh, like it didn't look like i just got back from holidays but uh it looked nice uh, so yeah uh that's that then we have some rituals and this is a foam fiesta foaming shower gel perfect scent for summer uh this is i think the second or third time i had it and this is really beautiful there's quite many of Bath & Body kind of products in uh, this month's um, empties box. Uh, so the next one is Molten Brown, this is Flora Luminare and this is a uh, Bath & Shower Gel. This was gorgeous. This was this beautiful floral scent but with some woodsy uh, notes, with slightly, with some slight citrusy notes as well, uh, with Lang Lang, so it was quite tropical but not really your, 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 your typical floral. Uh, it was much more complex than that if you're curious the top notes here are orange blossom mandarin and lang lang um heart of polynesian frangipani jasmine absolute and rose absolute and then base of vanilla cedarwood and musk really beautiful scent i really enjoy that next one is from sol de janeiro this is bom dia bright cream a uh, plum and amber scent really beautiful i think i love I mean, apart from the coconut, which is not my favorite, it's okay, but it's not my favorite. I think I love every single fragrance they release. Uh, this one, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that was really cool. Uh, next one is Way Body Cream uh, Mellow's Place. Mellow's Place is the scent. Um, nice, floral, classy, elegant scent. A very um, kind of... Uh, very pleasant uh, form of this cream. It wasn't like too thick, too heavy. It was quite more like a little bit thicker lotion. Um, I did not realize that uh, Away does um, like body products. So this was my first experience with the body products from that brand. Uh, and yeah, that was actually uh, really nice. Uh, I think I would prefer maybe a slightly different scent in, in the future. If I were to like get this in like another box or whatever, I would prefer like a different scent. It's just that I'm not a massive fan of like properly floral scents uh, usually. Okay, next up we have Soul Tree, and this is hand and foot cream with cocoon and honey with mountain rosemary. There's that. Very rich, very thick. I use it on my feet, on my hands. It will probably just, it will take ages to kind of absorb, so not necessarily, unless you're just using this as a treatment and then kind of like maybe you can spare like 15 minutes of like doing nothing with this then that's great but i think it worked perfectly as a foot cream three more products from this category so um this one is from costa brazil uh, kaya jungle firming oil uh that's a very expensive brand very pleasant oil but at the same time in my personal opinion not really worth that money um 
it was just okay, right? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really spend that much money. I don't know how much money I would have to have to uh, spend it on the, that kind of thing. Uh, next up, we have Kiss the Moon Glow After Dark Bath Oil, Sleep Beautifully. And this one, I'm actually decluttering it. I tried it, it just smells like pickles. It, you know, they, literally pickles, like sour pickles. Um, but like properly, not like, you know, some people say that uh, certain fragrances have this vibe. This just doesn't have a vibe, it just smells like pickles. So no, I, I just couldn't stand it. Uh, I think in my last empties I had uh, a different scent from this line. It was, it was really nice. This one, no, I couldn't. So it's like a full bottle, literally. And then, is it the last pro? I think it's the last one from this category. This is Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay Body Cream. That was gorgeous. That that's just smelled amazing. Okay, we're moving on. Uh, the next category will be hair products. So we're starting with Galine. This is Soothing Cleansing Cream for Sensitive Scalp with probiotics and postbiotics. I do not have sensitive scalp and um, maybe that's why I did not really enjoy it as much as I should uh this i i felt like this didn't really cleanse my hair properly but i guess if you have a really sensitive um scalp or like really fine hair then this could be a nice one for you uh for me it just didn't really wash my hair properly i could use it like maybe every other hair wash um um yeah definitely if i got one more of these i wouldn't just even try and open it but i kind of was really curious how this is going to work for me and it doesn't so okay next up one of my rider dyes and this is philip kingsley elasticizer this one is in egyptian jasmine and mandarin i love it i mean i don't really know what else to add i just love this product so obviously you always find it in my empties yeah uh, another Philip Kingsley item, this is Daily Damage Defense, Daily Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I really like this product. Uh, this is actually nice uh, kind of uh, detangling product as well. I used it when my hair was uh, a little bit like tangled and it really helped with the tangling. So uh, yeah, and it smells beautiful. I feel like all the Philip Kingsley's products are scented so beautifully. Uh, what else? Do we oh, okay. A big one here. This is Amika, the Cure Intense Bond Repair Mask. I really love that one. It smelled, it has like a really nice kind of like floral, fruity scent, quite refreshing, quite sweet. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, and yeah, that's all I have to say. I really enjoyed this face hair mask. Okay, let's talk about something I didn't enjoy that much. This is Floral, Flowerology, 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 okay. Coco and Rose, a hair mask, and this is by Umberto Giannini. And uh, I mean, the hair mask was okay, but it's just, it just the scent. I don't know, it just smells like very much like something very kind of old school hair products. No, I didn't like it, I didn't enjoy it. I mean, for me, to be able to enjoy a product has to have like at least pleasant scent. This wasn't pleasant. So even though the hair mask was okay, the scent was just not. Uh, so I feel like I'm doing quite well today. Um, uh, we're almost done. There are still like some face products that I'm going to show you and a couple of makeup items. So let's do the face, obviously, like skincare. The first product is LME Superfood, a Sika Calm Cleansing Foam, Calming Micellar Cleanser. I really liked it. Uh, I do prefer the collagen line uh, over the Superfood one, but this product was actually really pleasant. And this is obviously going to be, I mean, I know that technically micellar products should uh, be the, your first step of your cleansing routine because they are supposed to remove makeup and all, but yeah, I'm just like, I'm just sticking with my face balms and face oils, right? This is my either second step or like morning cleanse. Uh, that's how I used it. Talking about cleansing balms, I have two enemies cleansing balms, a full size pro collagen classic cleansing balm and then uh, here we have the like mini uh, of Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. They're both amazing. Uh, I mean, th the only difference is the scent, <laughs> to be honest, but they're both amazing. This is one of my top three favorite cleansers ever. Next up, we have a Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And again, very similar to the Elemis product I just mentioned. This is supposed to technically remove your makeup, which I don't really feel like how it would work like that it's like a very gentle cleanser i really loved it i really loved it uh but i can't really imagine like trying to remove my mascara with it like i don't know it's not oily it's just very kind of gentle kind of almost like a gel-like formula so 
I just don't know. But yeah, it's a lovely uh, second step uh, of your cleansing routine or like a perfect morning time cleanser. Really nice, really gentle. I really enjoyed it. And it smells like cucumbers, but like normal cucumbers, not pickled cucumbers, which I feel like normal cucumbers, that's quite a pleasant scent. Uh, pickled cucumbers, well, not something that you want to have on your like body or yeah uh, okay next up we have summer fridays and this is cloud dew oil free gel cream um there's that and to be honest i actually wanted to try like an oil free moisturizer uh for this summer and this works perfectly i do use quite a lot of like serums on my face i just put quite a lot of serums on my face every morning uh so it felt like you know having something like oil free on top of that um it didn't feel like there was like too much on my face so yeah not something i would just use as a as, a, as the only product because obviously i have dry skin so i need a little bit more than that uh, but this was perfect uh, just to finish my skincare routine like summer skincare routine okay summer fridays another summer fridays product this is huh what is this this is a face mask right but i'm not really sure which one that is is it overtime yeah it's overtime face mask uh, this is a, like slightly exfoliating kind of face mask. It has these um, almost like a mechanical scrub inside, but you just apply it over your face and you just leave it like that for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Uh, it's very pleasant. It's very gentle. I do like um, Summer Fridays uh, masks. So yeah, that was a cool one. And that leaves us with this product here, sunscreen. Uh, this is Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 30. This is gorgeous, especially, you know, if you want to apply like proper makeup on top of your, on top of your sunscreen. This feels like a proper primer. That's how it feels. It gives you this like almost like a silky layer on your skin. So it's just perfect to uh, apply foundation on top of that. Mm, very nice. I mean, I really like it. Like it doesn't really leave like white residue. It mattifies slightly. Definitely a very good sunscreen. Okay, makeup guys. So here we have four items and two of them I'm kind of like the cut like the cluttering. So let's start with the ones I'm like the cluttering. So first one is MAC mascara. Do you know it doesn't mean that it's bad, it just doesn't work for me. Okay, so I'm definitely getting rid of that. It just doesn't work for me at all. Uh I mean my lashes are not very impressive when I use it, so there's no point of like trying to make something out of that. I'd rather just like um, pass it on and kind of start using something uh, that will just work better with me. Uh, another thing that I'm um, getting rid of is uh, Bare Minerals, and this is their uh, powder foundation. Uh, and I don't know what happened, but it just stopped working for me. Uh, I heard somewhere that those like um, powder foundations are great for like dry skin. And since my skin, I've been taking a really good care of my skin for the last couple of years. And my skin is not technically dry at this point. So I guess maybe that's the reason why it doesn't work that well for me. It just ends up being quite patchy towards the end of the day. Uh, it kind of seems to be slightly more oxidizing on my skin it's just i don't really like how it looks you know uh so there's no point of me like keeping it there's like half of the pot still here but I'm, I'm just not going to use it i mean it doesn't really make me look any prettier right when i apply this so there's no point so i'm getting rid of that and then we have uh two products i actually finished uh, one of them is from bare minerals also and this is their um Concealer, <laughs> I was just looking for a word, yeah, concealer. I like that one. This was like a creamy concealer, uh, very pleasant to use, nice color, everything was good with it, so yeah. And then we have a pore, pore, pore professional pore primer from Benefit. This was actually quite good as well. I uh, used it by itself sometimes. It was mattifying, it just gives gave my skin quite a nice look. Obviously, it worked as a primer as well, uh, so I was quite happy with this product in general. Okay, there you go, guys. This is everything. This is my whole um, empties box uh, for the month of September. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, have you tried any of these products? Uh, are there any of your favorites here or any products that you have maybe have like a bad experience with? I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. For more beauty related content, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.